So, Miss J, I brought you on today to help me talk about some of the most disrespectful stuff that I've seen today in the NBA. So the NBA executives, Miss J, they had a vote and they on a poll for the best player in the NBA. And LeBron James received zero votes. Yeah, I saw that. Um, regular season MVP, multiple All Star uh, games, like, and he gets no votes. Up, uh, like, I gotta be. It's gotta be hate. It's gotta be hate. It's gotta be hate, man. He going into his nineteenth season, dominating. He was just the Finals MVP two years ago. He was in yep. the MVP conversation before um, he got hurt last year. Like, yep. come on now. I, we want to sit up here. We can have conversations all day, every day about LeBron and Jordan. But for you to say that he's not in the t – like, this is blasphemous. No votes as the best player? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. That's I crazy. Mean, I need to talk to the bosses now. I want to know who got all who got the number one vote. So I'm assuming KD. I I would probably say KD, probably Giannis. Oh, and I would only say Giannis because Giannis won his championship and Finals MVP without a super team. That's why I say probably them two. So those two split, Miss J. Giannis yeah. and KD. Thinking, they both got five they votes. They got five votes apiece, and LeBron got zero. That's crazy. That is how blasphemous. You, how, you can't name five, name you can't do a top five without naming Giannis, KD, LeBron, Steph, and fifth could be probably Kawhi as long as he's healthy. But how do you how you do like a top five or anything like that? And LeBron's not mentioned. The disrespect. Just say you hate that the, the fact that he went to play for the Lakers. Let's just say that. That's now, really what it is. Sound like it's come down to. What do you think this disrespect is going to do for LeBron and the Lakers next year? Like he always take things to heart. Do you think this is going to amp him up a little bit more? Of course, of course. Like y'all, y'all tomorrow. After all I've done, and I'm going to year 19, and y'all don't think I'm one of the best players in the world? It's going to be one. LeBron averages like probably 25 a game. Maybe they have the top record. Like LeBron's going out for blood. Stop playing with him. Now, do you MVP. think that? Do you I'm, think that I'm that's going? Gonna, do that's you gonna not help. to cut you off? But do you think that's going to be a formula for success? Because you know they brought in AD. I mean, they brought in Russell. They brought in Melo. They brought in some players that I don't know if LeBron is going to be responsible for so much scoring. So if he takes that scoring approach, do you think that could hurt? the Lakers' chance as far as chemistry and making it deep into the playoffs? I'm going to say, I'm going to say it like this. LeBron might be the leading scorer to start the season off to get them to a certain point, maybe. And then at a point, it's going to be more like the rest of the team and LeBron kind of falls back. But the, when the moment counts, LeBron's going to have the ball. Okay, okay. So, probably. I'm excited, man. I cannot wait for this next NBA season. You look at all the teams with the big three, uh, you know, on they, we got like eight teams that got like serious three people on their team that really could uh, help an organization go to the championship. Yeah. It's, it's early, but who do you see going to the finals? Like, who's your early bird predictions? I got the Lakers and the Bucks. You got Milwaukee going back again? Yeah, Milwaukee only lost PJ Tucker. Wow, wow! I got to talk yeah. to the bosses, Miss J. Only PJ Tucker, really? No, I'm just saying that's the only person they lost from the team. That's a big part, though, right? It it is, but okay, you lost PJ Tucker. You still resigned Bobby Porter's. You're getting Dante DiVincenzo back from his plantar fasciitis, so that pushes whoever started for him back to the bench. I'm just saying, I like their chances. If it's not them, my other choice, possibly, well, I got three. I got three. I'm okay. going with the Bucks because I, I think Giannis and them, I like the way that they went about it. So, it's either going to be Giannis and them, 
is Miami has a chance now with adding Kyle Lowry and PJ Tucker. But it's like, okay, are they all going to stay healthy? Right. That is my only concern for them. And then you got um, the net, Brooklyn. If all three are healthy, yes. But I got a feeling that somebody's going to get that new. I'm I'm not sold on Brooklyn. I keep saying it over and over and over and over again. I'm not sold on Brooklyn, man. Until we, until there's some type of known presence of defense, I don't think a team can win a championship in a seven game series without winning or without having defense. To me, that's why yeah. Milwaukee won last year. Yeah. So I ain't really pressed about Brooklyn, but I actually got Miami. To be honest with you, going to the to the finals next year, I like them. You know, injuries, like you said, health is a big key, but that's really for everybody. Yeah. So if the playing field is pretty level, I like the addition of Kyle Lowry. They the ones that picked up P.J. Tucker, so they got a little bit of grit along with Jimmy Butler, Bam out of a deal yeah. coming off of the uh, gold medal. So yeah. my, Miami's going to be a team to look out for. Um, Milwaukee, I'm sorry. I, 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 don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. I just feel like too many other teams done something in the off season. I don't know if they can keep up. Um, it really depends on Giannis. It really depends on Giannis because, I mean, you had games with Drew carried them. You had games with Chris Middleton carried them. I think it took damn near the whole season for Chris Middleton to really see how valuable he was. Right. For them. But if he has that starting the season along with Drew, it's it like it's possible. It's possible. You gotta help Giannis that Giannis is not the your do it all in every game. Well let me you ask you this when it comes to the Greek freak. Was the NBA finals last year was that Giannis's coming out party like cause he had 50 something I think in game seven like he had a he had some big games in the finals. Do you think that 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 round was his coming out party, and we about to see a whole new Giannis Antetokounmpo this next season, or was that just an anomaly? So. I think so. I think, like, even though he's shown you don't have to really be able to score, shoot the ball to dominate a game. Right now, if he gets in the gym with Drew and and Chris Milton, and actually works on shooting. And he gets that to go along with everything else he has, he's gonna be unstoppable. That's the only thing he's missing. That and staying out of foul trouble. 